In this problem, we're going to compute the composition of these two functions, f and g. Let's start by computing f o g of x. So what this means is it's actually just f of and then g of x. So the g of x here um, goes on the inside here. Okay, so it's actually f of g of x. It's pretty easy to memorize too. It's f g, f g, it's in the same order. So what you do now is you replace the inside piece. You replace the g. So this is really f of, and so your g is 1 over x. So you simply just replace that with 1 over x. So we have f of 1 over x. So now what we can do um, is we can look at f. So f of x is x minus 1 over x plus 2. Here we have f of 1 plus x. So what that basically means is that we replace all of the x's with uh, 1 over x. So instead of x, it's 1 over x minus 1. And on the bottom, it's x plus 2, but it'll be 1 over x plus 2. And there's a really clever way to simplify this. It'd be really nice to uh, not leave these fractions in the numerator and the denominator. So what we can do is we can multiply by 1 in a clever way. So I'm going to put a times here, and we'll multiply by x over x. This is really cool. So we're basically multiplying by 1. And so watch this. This is really in parentheses, and this is really in parentheses. So now we distribute. x times 1 over x is 1. x times 1 is x. And on the bottom, we have x times 1 over x, which is 1. And then x times 2 is 2x. Really, really clean, just really nice way to get rid of the fractions. Again, just multiplying by 1 in a clever way. Okay, let's go ahead and carefully work through the other direction. So g o f of x. Let's try it. g o of f of x. g o f of x, rather. <laughs> Can't speak. So this is the same thing <laughs> as g of f of x. Right? And it's really easy to memorize. See, f o g, f g, g o f, g f. So it's just the same order. And now we have to work from the inside out. So we'll start by replacing um, this piece here. So it's actually this, right, this whole thing. So this is g of that whole thing. So x minus 1 over x plus 2. And now we look at g. g of x is 1 over x. So this will be 1 over this whole thing here. So x minus 1 over x plus 2. Notice I put it in parentheses. That's really important uh, in a problem like this, okay? It's, it's one thing. And so what's happening here is we have 1, right? We have the number 1, and we're dividing it by this fraction. So when you divide, you, you multiply by the reciprocal. So this is really 1 times, and then you flip it. So x plus 2 over x minus 1. And then 1 times anything is that thing. So this is x plus 2 over x minus 1. Remember, division is multiplication by the reciprocals. So when you divide, you flip it and put a negative, because that's the reciprocal. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.